Do you find yourself overwhelmed with all the work you've got to get done, with all the places that you've got to be at, and all the people you've got to keep happy? If so, this week's episode is for you. I'm Siobhan Barnes, and I work with professional women who are smart, intelligent, and know how to get stuff done, but feel called to do something different, something more meaningful, and to live life along the way. And this theme of being busy, of being overwhelmed, is something that I see time and time again. And I'll put my hand up, it's also something that I grapple with as well. Because the truth is, we live in a world which is hyper-connected and expects a response immediately. And sometimes it can be really challenging because there are so many things to keep a tabs on, so many groups to keep in contact with, and so many roles that we play as women that it can be really hard and overwhelming to keep up. And so if this is you, I want to share with you two tips today that are really going to support you to move through the overwhelm, get out of this treadmill of always doing and never feeling like you're on top of things, and so that you can really feel like you're living a life and actually enjoying the journey as opposed to simply surviving. So thing number one is to create a stop doing list. So often we're focused on the things that we need to be doing. We need to do more, be more, have more, achieve more. In the scheme of achievement, I invite you to take a different approach and that is to stop doing. And there are many things that you might be doing in your own life that you actually don't need to be doing and can stop doing. Now, as I say stop doing, I don't mean shirk from your responsibilities. I don't mean letting other people pick up the slack and being a really selfish person. I'm simply talking about taking an honest look at where you're spending your time, what activities you're doing, the people you're spending time with, how you're using your energy, and thinking about whether that's really truly serving you. And quite often we can be on autopilot. We don't even realize that we're wasting time on things that aren't really that important. So an example of things that you might want to stop doing may include, maybe you stop going out every Friday night as your standard night for going out and you just reduce that to once a month so that you have time to restore and rejuvenate and feel better about yourself. Maybe you can stop putting pressure on yourself and these expectations on yourself that you must be in the office early, stay really late, stay later than your boss and always be working. Maybe you can stop beating yourself up for not spending enough time with your kids and make a commitment to figuring out how you can structure your week so that come the weekend or maybe even once a week during the work week, you get home and you have some quality time with your kids. There is no right or wrong answer here. There's only a right or wrong answer for you and all of us are unique. So have a look at what you're doing and think about what you might want to stop. Quite often as women, we can say yes without necessarily thinking through the ramifications and the implications. So give yourself full, full permission to say no, to stop, and take a step back. Thing number two to look at is to really look at what you need to fill up your own bucket, so to speak. What do you need to really nurture yourself so that you have the energy to be all the things that you are to all the people in your life, you know, as an employer, as a boss, as a wife, as a mother, as a sister, as a friend, and all the different hats that you wear. What do you need to do for you to be at your best? Maybe you need to eat really well and prioritize that. Maybe you need to get eight hours of sleep. Sleep is often underrated and super, super important. But maybe you need that time and say, hey, 10 o'clock, I'm in bed and I'm asleep. Maybe you need to journal every day. Maybe you need to exercise three times a week. Again, you do you. You know yourself best, but I invite you to think about what are the things that you need so that you can perform at your best. And doing those two simple things will make such a big difference to the overwhelm because then you're actually prioritizing the things that matter so that you can then be more energetic, have the time, have the presence to be there when you are focusing on the tasks at hand. So I wanna hear from you. 
What sorts of things are you excited about? Are you interested in the stop doing list or are you in more interested to start with the things that are going to nurture you and what you need to fill up your cup, so to speak, so that you have the energy to do your work and live your life. I'm really curious. Leave a comment for me below and feel free to share this with any friends that you have who might also be juggling with overwhelm, have a million things on their to-do list. Let's beat this together and stop the crazy making and the hamster wheel of always being on the go. Sending so much love.